Just two months after starting as Dallas Police Chief, Renee Hall took perhaps her boldest step. Right now, I can only say that there are some serious issues that need to be addressed. The decision to disband the vice unit sent cases of gambling, prostitution, and human trafficking to other DPD divisions. Now we know why. An internal affairs report completed nine months ago, but publicly released Wednesday, upholds 27 violations of DPD policy towards 22 former vice unit members. Most of the violations dealt with poor accounting of gambling money won during undercover operations. Today, each received discipline ranging anywhere from three to 20 day suspension without pay. It's just a complete embarrassment today. And they wonder why morale so low. Mike Mata and George Aranda represent two association for Dallas police officers and say the discipline unfairly targets vice detectives, none of which were ever accused of doing anything illegal. If 16 of them were doing the exact same thing, that means that was a training issue. But Chief Hall concluded the old vice unit didn't operate with what she says was the highest level of integrity, which damaged public trust, saying about the discipline, though not popular, these actions were necessary to create a more efficient department and bring us closer to our goals as a world-class department. We will appeal and we will fight this. While associations will defend the old vice officers, a newly formed vice unit relaunched last fall. Hall says this time with better training and a level of professionalism expected of all officers. In Dallas, I'm David Goen.